From the Classic 107 Studios in downtown Winnipeg, 107 Live, for Birchwood Jaguar, the art of performance. This coming Tuesday, November 7th at Westminster United Church, the Winnipeg Singers and Manitoba Chamber Orchestra come together in a concert titled Thanksgiving and Remembrance, a celebration of both ensembles 45th anniversaries, and the concert is headlined by a magnificent work of Ervo Pert, his setting of the Te Deum. I'm uh, excited to say that Yuri Claus and members of the Winnipeg Singers have joined us here in the Classic 107 studios. Good afternoon, Yuri. Good afternoon. Well, Simon. such a pleasure having you back. Long long back. time no talk. <laughs> Well, I was just here last week. I, believe. I know, and I'm so excited to have you back. Well, let Thank me begin you. by saying congratulations on 45 years. Thank you. What what a milestone. What does it mean to be celebrating this together with the MCO? Well, it's absolutely great. We've been uh, uh, both groups for 45 years in this cultural scene in Winnipeg, and uh, both group has long-standing tradition. And uh, I think we have a very good relationship with the uh, Manitoba Chamber Orchestra and um, in my time with the Winnipeg Singers, uh, we've done several concerts with Manitoba Chamber Orchestra and actually we celebrated 40 together five huh. years ago. Now we're celebrating 40, 45, 45th yeah. anniversary uh, together again. That's, that's great. Evidently there was something in the water back in, what, 1972, I guess, when both <laughs> ensembles were founded. I'm just doing a, a quick little bit of math. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I want to talk about this program. The, the show is called Thanksgiving and Remembrance, with that featured work being by Ervo Pert, his Te Deum. What can you tell me about the piece? Well, uh, I would say a couple words about the program sure. uh, all over, uh, because it's, as you mentioned, uh, um, Thanksgiving and Remembrance, so we have, we're just uh, uh, coming to the Remembrance time and mm -hmm. Thanksgiving just few weeks back so we usually at this time of the year we uh, we combine this program together and mm -hmm. at this time we've decided to go with the Te Deum as you mentioned and also uh, an absolutely wonderful piece by Ola Yelo his Sunrise Mass mm -hmm. and as the Winnipeg Singers a little bit of a solo work we'll be performing uh, a part of uh, Eleanor's Daily Requiem mm -hmm. But uh, um, yes, I would uh, highlight that Tadeum is the most interesting piece on the program. Uh, not to mention that this is a mysterious name of Pert. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the actual work is, I s also call it mysterious, haunting, and you know, the words coming like eternity, infinity, something like that. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning work. Just. But his his words, uh, I mean, in, interesting phrase he said once. I have to gently draw this piece from the silence and emptiness, huh. and that is so ex so much explains how this thing sound, uh, this piece sound, and uh, you actually starting from this drawn of E sound, the, the har wind harp, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden bass is coming. It's just. Oh. And I, I think what's so breathtaking about that work is, is typically when you talk of a Te Deum, there, there are these Thanksgiving pieces, there are these uh, big celebrations, yep. right? So it's interesting to see his take on the Te Deum, and I mean, worth it to experience it in person. You can listen to it, but to, to be able to feel that in a concert yep. is a very different thing. Well, I met Parrot here in Winnipeg in 2004, and huh. actually the way he walks, the way he talks, the way he looks, that's how his music sounds. Mm -hmm. Really? Absolutely. He truly embodies yeah, his music. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I had a, a privilege to talk to him briefly <laughs> and at the back of the Centennial Concert Hall backstage and he was a guest for the guest composer, distinguished guest composer for that festival and it was absolutely a wonderful experience for me. And uh, you're right, there are no trumpets, no trombones, yeah. no timpani, no clashing cymbals, nothing. It's just this incredible silence of the music. And it, of course it has fantastic climaxes when the choir mm -hmm. and the orchestra and this Eason and the piano burst into this fantastic uh, <laughs> climactic. <laughs> yeah, splendor <laughs> yeah. in his but way. In in most of the time you just sit and you listen. What's next? What's next? It's, it's, it's just breathtaking. 
Well, if that doesn't make somebody want to go to the concert, I'm, well, I'm, I hope so. <laughs> I'm really not sure what will. <laughs> so, I mean, you have this reverent celebration from Ervo Parrot, but then there's this other element, like you mentioned, this element of, of remembrance, which is exemplified, I think, in, in the selection of Canadian composer Eleanor Daly's Requiem. And unlike the Parrot, which is, uh, as you alluded to, this big name, though a, a rarely performed work, I, I'm wondering, Daly may not be a name as familiar to audiences. Um, how did you come to know this work, the, the Requiem of Daly? Oh, well, I would uh, disagree with you on that. Right. I think she's quite known choral composer and a lot of choirs, a lot of Canadian choirs, and thanks to me, Russian choirs, some uh -huh. Russian choirs sing her music as well. Uh -huh. I brought it back to Russia at some point. But no, I think she's very, very uh, known to the um, Canadian audiences, and she writes a lot for the choir. She does. And uh, uh, this piece, in particular, the Requiem, I think it's absolutely beautiful, amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of unusual because, you know, you hear the word requiem, you all of a sudden think of, oh, that's a great, oops, 20 minutes only. <laughs> so intimate, so quiet, so for inside and comforting. That's the main uh, character I would put towards that piece, a very comforting piece. The central um, movement of that requiem called In Remembrance, mm -hmm. and we're actually going to sing it today. I'm looking forward to hearing it. Yes, and uh, it's a central piece of the Requiem, and interesting enough, Daly said, you don't cry when you sing this piece. And the, the words at the end, uh, I'm not there, I didn't die. Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's. I mean, of course. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's uh, another fascinating piece of music. And and the last one I want to touch on before we talk about you know the the forty fifth year celebration mm -hmm. is Ola Yelo. I mean, he too is one of those uh, bigger names. And I mean, you've the Winnipeg Singers have performed his music before. Just just last year, right? It was um, it was Northern Lights yes, that you guys Northern were singing. Lights, yeah. The, well, Ola Yelo is probably one of the most performed choral composers in the world now. Yeah. I, I can say that. Uh, him, Eric Whitaker, and Ola Yelo is very popular. He is a Norwegian composer, mm -hmm. came, uh, he's living in New York now. Mm -hmm. Actually, we, we can announce that, I guess, that in year 2019, may I? <laughs> so we're getting approval here. Yeah, that's, that's great. In the year 2019, in May 2019, Ola Yelo will be a guest featured composer <laughs> here in Winnipeg wow. with Winnipeg Singers. Uh, yeah, revealed so here we now. We are that's actually absolutely looking forward to that. And uh, yes, I, I'm actually quite happy that we have them. Um, uh, I'm saying have an opportunity because we not every time have the chance to have the orchestra, right? Mm -hmm. And at this point, it was uh, to me when we talked about um, uh, bringing um, program together. When I when I heard that yes, it's going to happen, I said right away, let's do Yellow's Mass. Hmm. It's an absolutely beautiful piece of music. So we're very uh, much looking forward to that concert. Yeah, I think it's a, a wonderful kind of telling, a wonderful progression. I mean, you're kind of almost looking at, at, at back at the writing of Ervo Pert and then uh, music of, of the present, the writing of Daly, and then the future with that music of Yellow, especially since he's, he's coming here to town. I mean, that's that's a pretty exciting <laughs> thing. I mean, I'm already, <laughs> wheels are turning here. Uh, but, I mean, speaking of, uh, <laughs> speaking of things to come, what else do you guys have planned, the Winnipeg Singers, for the 45th anniversary season? Oh, we have a great concert in front of us. So the uh, the first concert we've talked about. Our mm -hmm. second concert is uh, usually a Christmas concert, and this year we're doing a medieval Christmas, and mm -hmm. we'll be featuring the choir wearing costumes, and oh, we have nice. all this uh, medieval um, carols lined up, and there will be some food and wine, and yeah. I think I think choir members be. are currently thinking about which costume they're going to get. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, the, 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 yeah, of course they are. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm personally, and I hope the the rest of the choir too, very excited uh, because the, our third concert is uh, yet another um, icons and incense, mm -hmm. uh, our very successful choral series. Uh, we do it every two years, every second year, and this year we're performing. Quite unusual work, I have to say that. Uh, Russian composer Alexander Kastalsky, hmm. he wrote a uh, so-called Russian Requiem, or um, another title. That, uh, anyway, the, this piece is uh, the commemorative service for the victims of the First World War. Hmm. And guess what? The year 18 is the 100th anniversary of the end, the end of, of the, the First war. World War. So it's, it's absolutely those things uh, really come together. Yeah. And uh, our fourth concert of the season, 
uh, we call it uh, we call it concentrating on youth, and we're very happy to have uh, um, performed our program with the youth choirs. We invited uh, two um, two of our wonderful um, young choirs, Winnipeg Boys Choir, Sister mm-hmm. School Choir, Crystal Peters Choir, mm-hmm. would be joining us as well. So it's very exciting program. So. Absolutely. Well, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to come here to the Classic 107 Studios. Uh, the choir has waited so patiently behind <laughs> you. Uh, I want to get them involved now. Uh, sure. So while you take a moment to set up, Yuri, um, I'm going to let you guys know, listening, that you can catch the Winnipeg Singers in collaboration with the Manitoba Chamber Orchestra on Tuesday, November 7th. That's at 7.30 p.m. The show is called Thanksgiving and Remembrance, a double 45th anniversary concert at Westminster United Church. For more information and tickets, you can visit winnipegsingers.com or the mco.ca. Uh, Yuri, I'm just going to welcome you back one more time. What are we going to be hearing? We're going to perform uh, the central piece of the Eleanor Daly's Requiem called In Remembrance. Outstanding. Take it away. From our studios in downtown Winnipeg, you've been listening to 107 Live, Classic 107's Intimate Concert Series, the soundtrack for your life.